And I am so delighted to welcome to this stage, Mr. Josh Healy. How to help your mother set up her profile on J-Date. <laughs> One, let the phone ring seven times before picking up. That way it seems like you're busy, but never too busy for her. After the usual small talk about what are you doing with your day, what are you doing with your life, she will ask this favor. Your mother always asks, never commands. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. But you've never got a request slash demand like this before. Help your mom set up an online dating profile? Your first instinct will be to hang up the phone. Ignore it. Remember, after all, this is still the woman who pays for your health insurance. <laughs> Two, do not question her choice of a username. If she wants to be known as Kabbalah Queen 57 or Bernal Heights Bookworm or my personal favorite, the Hebrew Tina Turner, Respect that decision. No need to spend too much time brainstorming. Three, don't mention your father. Four, when she mentions your father, she will use words like schmuck and prick and fucking asshole, and she will not be talking about body parts. Thank God that when she's talking about your father, she isn't using those words to talk about body parts. She will vent about how he left her for a younger woman, remarried not even five months after the divorce, how she had to raise you and your brother on her own while he got to show up on the weekend and play Batman. She hates Batman. She likes the villains, the jokers, the two-faced tricksters, they're more honest with their flaws, she will say. More fun with them, too. Five, let her tell the truth. Let her stretch it as far as her broadband can go. Let her put her age as 57, her hometown as Detroit, why not? Her religious affiliation as reconstructionist because she thinks that makes her sound exotic. It's a Jewish joke. <laughs> Smile when she says her favorite singer is Otis Redding, despite the fact you know it's David Lee Roth. Her favorite drink is tequila, kombucha, and the two things she can't live without are her boys and her bagels. Don't ask which order, remember to buy some bagels. <laughs> Bite your tongue when she describes herself as easy going, <laughs> non judgmental, deeply spiritual, and a Michelin certified four star chef. Let her be whoever she wants to be. Maybe there is more about this woman than you know. Six, you have to ask eventually, right? Mom. You don't go to synagogue. You eat pork chops on Yom Kippur. You hate Woody Allen, Jerry Seinfeld, Billy Crystal, and definitely my father. Mom, why are you looking for a guy on J-Date? And she'll say, well, I tried ChristianSingles.com. but every guy on there was wearing a sweater vest. Not really my thing. 
And you think there might be something more, something about going for what's familiar, what's comfortable, the devil you know versus the devil you don't. But this is a point you decide not to push. Seven, you take a break to make lunch. You have turkey on wheat, she wants a BLT on challah. She's a complicated woman. You sit down at the table to make the sandwiches. It's the same table that her and your pops told you they were splitting up. You can still picture it. Your mom and him on one side, you and your brother on the other. A box of tissues in between. Next to your father, a bright red suitcase. You were 11. You didn't understand how much he could fit in that one bag, how what he took could fill a mansion. And your mother will call you from the computer room and say, hey, Chef Boyardee, where's my sandwich? <laughs> Some requests are easier than others. Some rules meant to be broken. You throw an extra piece of bacon on the sandwich and say, I'm coming, mom. Eight, the sun is setting and you have to get home before the last BART train closes or goes on strike again. And you believe in solidarity, but you also believe in sleeping in your own bed. So you decide to finish this lightning round style. All right, mom, you ready? Ready. What's your perfect first date? A sunset walk along the Embarcadero. What qualities are you looking for in a man? Richard Gere's face and Angela Davis's politics. <laughs> what quote, what quote do you live by? Have it your way. <laughs> Who said that? Burger King. <laughs> what drives you crazier? A Berkeley hippie? or a Texas Republican? A Berkeley Republican. <laughs> Have you ever done cocaine? Once. Really? How was it? Awesome. That's why I only did it once. What do you think about Israel? Next question. What's your biggest regret in life? Dropping out of college to raise my children. I didn't know that. What's your biggest achievement? Being honest with my children. What do you need to be most happy in the world? my boys and my bagels. <laughs> then mom, why are you doing this? And your mother will look at you and say, because despite my better judgment and long personal history, I still believe in men and I still believe in love and I want it at 61, the same I did at 41, the same I did at 21. And so I'm willing to put myself out here on this ridiculous website because you never know when the right schmuck will roll along and send you an instant message. And you type that in and you click submit and you tell your mother that when she goes on her first date, you expect her back before midnight. 11, if it's a school night. Hey, Snappers. Like us, you know that it is impossible to hate someone if you know their story. And that's why storytelling that matters is so important. And that's why they're coming after us. Because stories have power. And we have just a short period of time to make sure the good guys win. So support the stories and the storytellers you love at snapjudgment.org right now. Right now, get good stuff. Snapjudgment.org. Snapjudgment. .org. Thanks.